Hey guys, Vasily from Storyline here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple and really effective Alexa skill that delivers one random fact a day. So why this is important is because you need to build a habit. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, so why is this is important? You need to build a habit of listening to your content on some time frame basis. So for example, it could be daily content or weekly content, but yeah, let's go with daily for this particular skill. So what I'm gonna do is to go to getstoryline.com and I will see the page of my projects and I'm gonna click create new skill and select new custom skill here. The name of my skill is gonna be daily facts about stars. It's I actually wrote a guide on how to pick a really good invocation name, and I think this is a really good invocation name because it exactly explains what the skill does. So by looking at this name, every stranger on the street can figure out what this skill does, and this is really important for people to find, enable, and play with this skill. And I'm going to pick a language English USA, and my skill template is going to be black. All right, so. Now I need to create a skill, and when it's done, I see the default blank template the Storyline provides you with, and now I need to basically find some information that I'm going to put in this skill. So what I'm going to do here is to show you how to integrate Google Sheets with Storyline so you can grab a daily fact from your Google spreadsheet. And the best part of this is that you can really make the content management easy by updating the content in the Google spreadsheet. So you don't have to upload to Alexa every time you update the content. You just add the content there and it, that's it. It gets automatically, immediately uploaded to Alexa without you doing anything. So what I'm gonna do here is to open this welcome block and first change the first message that users that our users will hear when they open the skill by saying, Alexa, open daily facts about stars. And let's write something like, hey, or welcome to daily, daily facts about stars. And then let's ask a question, or a simple one like, are you ready to hear a fact? And we need a couple of user replies here. So by adding user replies, you think what users can say to that, uh, what users can reply to that question that we just put up there. And user, users could say either yes or maybe no. All right, and if users say yes, then I want to create a new block here. Uh, and I want to grab a random quote from a Google spreadsheet and read it to the user. So how do I go about doing that? First, I need to create a JSON API request step here. And then I need to write the name of this API request step. So API request is a very simple tool. It's a very simple tool that allows you to basically go and get data from somewhere else outside of Storyline. So in this case, it's Google Spreadsheet. The name of my API request is gonna be arm facts. It's very simple. And here is the most interesting part. Then I'm gonna go and create a Google spreadsheet. So I just created this one. Uh, it's called Untitled Spreadsheet. I'm gonna put a name here called Stars Facts. And then I'm gonna go and Google some interesting facts about stars. All right, and I found some article already. So I'm gonna just copy this content to test how it works. The sun is the closest star. Interesting, and then I'm gonna copy a little more about, a little more content to, to make it more interesting for people to listen to this content. All right, and I think we need a little pause here after the first sentence. So how you, gonna, how you can add a little pause there is by finding, um, is by adding a break SSML tag to your Google spreadsheet. Basically what the break SSML tag does it adds a break time, which is a pause of some number of seconds. So you can configure this right there, and the number of seconds could be either like one or two or three or 10. So for this, I think a good 
a good pause would be, a good break time would be 1.5 seconds. All right, and then I'm gonna add a couple of more facts just to test how it works. Uh, let's add this one. Okay. Nice. And I'm gonna put a break time also there. So every piece of content looks and sounds really neat. And let's add one more. Stars are in a perfect balance. That's really cool, I didn't know that. All right. And we need a break time. Let's copy it from there. And paste it right here. All right, so now we have our content ready. It's very simple, it's just three facts. But let's start with that. So what I'm gonna do next is to publish my spreadsheet to the web. So why we need to do that is to make it available for Storyline to send a request to this spreadsheet and grab a random fact from there. So you just open file menu here and click publish to the web and then you select something or nothing here and click publish. Yes. All right, and now this project is published. That means that this project is now available for Storyline to gather data from. So what I'm gonna do next is to make a, U make a URL uh, that Storyline API request to understand. So what we need to do is to transform this Google spreadsheet into another content format, into another data format, which is called JSON. So JSON is just a simple format of sending data over the internet. And what we need to do here is perfectly described in our text version of this video. And so what I'm gonna do next is to basically copy this JSON URL to this spreadsheet, to the spreadsheet, to the Google spreadsheet. And here you can see a part of this URL, which is your Google spreadsheet ID. And you can find this ID, you need to replace this part. And you can find this ID right there in your browser URL here. So what I'm gonna do is to just copy this thing uh, from this slash to this slash. And I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna open this URL and paste it right there. So now if I did everything correctly, I can just copy this or just copy this URL and paste it in the new browser tab. And it opens my Google spreadsheet in a JSON format. So JSON, as I mentioned before, is a short format of transferring data over the internet. And here you can see, you can actually find that content that we just put in that Google spreadsheet. But this content is now available for Storyline. So we just need to copy this URL once again that we just put up there go to your Alexa skill that you're making in Storyline and put it in this URL field. We just put the URL right there and what we don't need to change the request type. It's going to be get because get is for getting data. And we don't need headers here. All we need to do is to create a variable which is going to store the value that we grab from a Google spreadsheet. So how we go about creating a variable? If you open up this spreadsheet that we had here that we have here it contain it has a json and my json is pretty beautiful because uh, i use the chrome extension called json beautifier i'll post a link to that chrome extension in the video comments and what you need to do here is to write down a path to that particular content that you want to use in storyline so in my example the content is going to be our our wearable is going to be fact and the content is going to be api response api response dot feed dot entry dot random r dot let's see uh, it's going to be field entry random the title and T and then a semicolon after that. This is really important. So how we get this, how we got this, how we got this long line of text. So in, J in, in your JSON file, you actually have these little arrows right there. And you can roll up this JSON to see how the path goes. So the whole thing here is called API response, like 
this is like the high level. Then the second step would be feed, which we put right there. It's it's it's, it's feed, and all of these are all these steps are separated by the dot. So it's API response dot feed. Then the second element, the second level, is gonna be entry. Entry. This is like this is the array that has our content. That's why we put entry right there, and we split them by by a dot. And we want to grab a random element of that array because we don't want the quotes to repeat. So that's why here is here is the first element of this array, and here is the second one. And then to access the first element of this array, I need to, to access the random element, sorry, to access the a random element of this array, I need to write random here, it's simple as that. And then we go down here, here is the first element, for example, or if this element is picked up as a random. And the next step is title. So we go down to title and we put title right there. Here is title. And then we write down dollar $t. So this is the last element. This is the last element that has our content. So we put it there and we put a semicolon in the end, which tells Storyline that your JSON, your JSON request ends. So next I need to click outside and I need to create a step that is Alexa response and I need to use the name of the variable that I created right there, which is fact, in curled double brackets. A storyline is going to go to this URL, find the fact under this path, api response.feed.entry.random.title.t. It's going to write the value from this path to the fact variable, and then it's going to read the fact variable back to the user. So this is n not really complex. This is really, really simple. And the best part is that once you create this, you can duplicate your project and you can build more skills with facts, with facts about animals, with facts about space, with facts about sky, with facts about everything. Because if the content is fresh and is repeated on a daily basis, then people are going to listen to that content. So this is really cool, and I'm going to upload this to Alexa. To do that, I just click this button, and you'll see a spinner right there. And I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and delete this, delete this URL right there, because we don't need it there. And I'm going to wait a little bit until this is uploaded to Alexa. It usually takes from 30 seconds to a minute to do this for the first time. And then the best part is that once you upload this to Alexa, you don't really need to change this part of the skill a lot because you can just add facts right there. You can build like a hundred of facts and Storyline will grab random facts every time. All right, so now we see a green tick right there. And it says that this skill is uploaded to Alexa and Alexa stop. And now it's uploaded to my Echo device. I cannot name the word Alexa in this video. And now I can open it by saying, Alexa, open daily facts about stars. Welcome to daily facts about stars. Are you ready to hear a fact? Yes. Stars are made of the same stuff. All stars begin from clouds of cold molecular hydrogen that gravitationally collapse. As the cloud collapses, it fragments into many pieces that will go on to form individual stars. The material collects into a ball that continues to collapse under its own gravity until it can ignite nuclear fusion at its core. This initial gas was formed during the Big Bang and is always about 74% hydrogen and 25% helium. Over time, stars convert some of their hydrogen into helium. That's why our sun's ratio is more like 70% hydrogen and 29% helium. But all stars start out with three quarters hydrogen and one quarter helium with other trace elements. So this is real magic, isn't it? So you just heard that Alexa read this fact out of this Google spreadsheet that we just created in 10 minutes. This is really, really cool. So the next step for this skill is going to be change this help and stop lock a little bit to make it sound more reliable. But then basically after you do, after you do all that, 
you can click publish and you can go right there and you will see a publishing tab in Storyline. So the publishing tab allows you to fill in your certification information and submit it for the certification, which takes about um, up to which takes up to 24 hours now. So you can get your Alexa skill published, Alexa stop. So you can get your Alexa skill published in 24 hours. Isn't this cool? And we actually help you a little bit with this certification form. So you need to just change this, our underscores. And here, and in my one sentence description, I can write early facts about stars as a skill to help you get a fresh new interesting fact about stars every day. So you change this content a little bit, you upload your skill icons, pick a category of your skill, and then you're good to go. You can submit this for the certification. So that was a really quick tutorial on how to integrate your Google spreadsheet with Storyline, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you need some more complex stuff, like how to pick a good invocation name, or how to change your help and stop block messages to make users come back, or how to use engagement tools that we have here in Storyline that opens up once you publish your skill, you can join our Facebook community, or you can just comment on this video and we would love to answer all your questions about Storyline. So thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you all have a good week. Goodbye.